ICS3U. This is our first lesson in a new unit called Lists, Strings, and Trace Tables. And it's the unit that we do typically after our introductory unit in Java. Or at least we have to have that unit under our belt before we, we do this. We already know what strings are. And now we'll be talking about something called uh, lists also. And how a string is really just a list of characters. So if we go to our browser, I've got this document and I'll make this document available to you. I want you to think of a string as just simply a list of characters. So you can see that if our string is hello world, this backslash n is a special character by the way. And it's a special character that lets us go to a new line. It's called an escape sequence. This backslash n here. And I want you to think of this list as having this, sorry, this string is having a collection of characters. So we have the capital H followed by lowercase e. And the space is also a character. And at the we have the exclamation point. And then at the very end, we've got this special character that's backslash n that lets us go to the new line. So here's what our list would look like. So you can see each character is divided. The string is divided into a collection of characters where each character is in its own location. So in the computer's memory, this is what we would see. We would say, see each character in its own location, and we number the locations starting at location zero. So even though we have 13 characters in our string, hello world, with the, there's a space there, there's an exclamation point, there's also a, a new line character, backslash n at the end, even though there's 13 different characters, um, we have locations 0 through 12. And this is a hallmark of strings and how they relate to characters, uh, lists, lists of characters. The list always has one location less than the number of uh, characters in the string. So I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code. I created a new project called strings as lists already, .py. And what I'm going to do, so strings as lists dot py. So we have a string, str1 is what I'm going to call it, and I'm going to say hello world. I'll just do hello world for now. And if we print it out, location str1 at location 0 and ran our program, we would see that it prints out, hopefully, yeah, uppercase h. What if I started at location 1? If I did that, we would see that we got just lowercase e. The h is from the previous uh, run. Uh, maybe we want to do this. We want to say, just so that you can see where the, the program is starting. So if I was to run this again, you could see very clearly the only thing it prints out for str1 at location 1 is the E. We could use a for loop to print out everything in, in the uh, string on its separate lines. And in that case, we would just use I. And um, we already know what a for loop looks like. For I in range 0, 2. And uh, how many locations are in this uh, message? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So if we do 11, let's see what happens when we type in 11 there for the end. So we're getting hello world. It's showing everything. Notice, so I want you to bring your attention to the fact that this uh, 11, it's not actually running it with the print statement when str1 is at 11. It's, when it reaches 11, it stops. So the last value that is passed into this print statement for str1 of i is 10. So it prints out location 10. So it starts at location 0, goes to 10. That is 11 values inclusive. And then it stops when it gets to 11. Okay. And that's really just strings as lists. I just wanted this to be a, fr uh, a short introductory uh, lesson to explain that. And we'll have another one uh, very shortly.